apologies right now okay I am losing my voice <laughs> but I want to keep to my schedule so I'm gonna do this video with this croaky madness whatever you want to call it voice hey guys so I wanted to let you know about a new series that I'm going to be starting next year called Afro Love. Afro Love will be a space where I'll be highlighting black owned businesses. It won't just be hair or skin or body or beauty or anything like that. It will be anything that I feel I want to highlight or let you know. As you know, I don't do favourite videos or hauls on this channel. I want to start doing something that kind of incorporates the ideal but in a beneficial way. So I'll be letting you know about companies that I may have purchased from or companies that I feel you should be purchasing from that can help build our community. You know with what's going on right now in America, my heart is just broken into pieces and instead of me being angry and ranting and venting all the time. I want to do something that's actually beneficial and that's helping and it's positive. I'm fed up of ranting, I'm fed up of being angry, I'm fed up of just, just being negative all the time about these situations. I want to do something that's going to actually benefit the community. As a community we do not support enough, we do not buy from our own people enough and it's not even a thing of people can say how can you say that. Every other community you look at supports each other. They support we don't do it as the black community and that's an issue and it's something that I have noticed for a very long time and we need to start building our community back up to what it should be and one way of doing that is spending our coins correctly now I do work with brands who are not black owned I do and I'm trying to change that for 2015. It's something I am trying to change because I want to be able to support my own and know that a company that I'm helping gets to the place I, I know it can get to, it has the potential to get to. And if I can offer my services in any way to do that, I will. So that is something I'm personally working on in terms of branding to do that for 2015. I do have some contracts currently that, you know, may go against that for 2015 but once they are done I will be trying to you know work more with black owned companies on this channel. There is a collective that I want to let you know about in the UK called United Curls and they had their first event on Sunday which I couldn't go to because I was ill and it was a pop-up market where you could go along and purchase products from these companies and the collective has about 9 or 10, I think it's 9, 10, or maybe even 11, I'm not too sure, I'm sorry if I'm wrong, um, small owned companies who manufacture their own products or source their own raw materials from different parts of the world and are making high quality products for hair, skin, body. And I started a series last, I think it was the year or year before, called Meet the Mixtress where we spoke with um, I Love Afro where we were talking about their brand and it's something that I've always wanted to go back to so that will be incorporated in the Afro Love concept as well. I want you to learn who these people are, I want you to understand their story and understand why they do what they do and why they make what they make and why they sell what they sell because it's all good buying into a product but most of the time you buy into the person behind it and I want us to understand the people behind these brands and support them. This is what it's about, support. If you're not aware of United Curls, check them out. There are brands in there like Shea Butter Cottage who supply a lot of raw materials which you can use to make your own products. You have Be Unique who started her own line, Naturally, sim naturally Simple Hair Care, I Love Afro, Sheer Decadence, Afro Gaiti, Alamando, um, these are all off the top of my head but I know there's more and these are owned by strong people who are making their own way they're providing something that you can use that will benefit you and one thing that I love about this collective is it's about coming together it's not about competition it's not about who can sell the most or who's going to become bigger than who the overall concept of it is bigger than what it actually is and I do believe it's going to make a difference, it's going to make a change. We've seen it in America where you've had brands like Carol's Daughter and Curls who are now multi-millionaires from starting in their kitchen. This can happen in the UK and even though our demographic is different than the US, our community is smaller than the US, 
that should be no excuse for why we can't become as big as some of these brands out here. My main thing for 2015 is support and unity and you will see a lot of collaborations in 2015 on this channel because it's one thing that I really really want to do. Please support me on this series starting next year called Afro Love and the way you can support me is by commenting down below any companies that you are aware of that I should be speaking about or researching or finding out about because I want to do this properly I want these companies to get as much exposure as possible and I want you to help me because I don't know every single company in the UK or in the world this can be beyond the UK as well it could be anybody so please let me know leave the comments down below I apologize for my voice because <laughs> it just sounds crazy right now and I will speak to you soon